Hi, my name is Diane. I'm a college student, newlywed, and cat mom of two. I'm not great at doing a lot of things, but I've always been good at learning, so I decided to start a YouTube channel where I focus on gaining new skills. I'll spend six months learning something that I've either never tried or I'm not good at yet, and document my progress here for all of you. Hope you enjoy! So here I have a book that I'm going to be using from the library this month. So this one isn't called calligraphy, it's called hand lettering. Um, so it is a little bit different, but I still think it fits under the category of calligraphy. Um, and it's definitely about penmanship. And so it has a lot of um, activities. I'll have to be doing them on a different page. Sorry, all this may not stop. Stop. It has a lot of different activities. I'll be doing it in my notebook instead of on here since this is a library book because I didn't want to have to spend more money than necessary. Looks like it doesn't um, need any super special tools. It's mainly just to practice your handwriting which I definitely need to do. They have different fonts in here and explanations for the fonts. Like here you can see it has Helvetica. It has different shapes. And then we get to some um, kind of newer calligraphy is what I would call it. So we have styles that are very modern, I guess you would say, because um, the styles that I have been doing are very, very old. So I'm looking forward to doing this. I don't think I will be using my um, fountain pen for most of these. I think most of these will be good for probably this pen right here. Just give me a basic black pen. And I might have to get one of a different size. I'm pretty sure we have a couple different sizes here at the house. So this will just be really good for me to just get a lot of practice in. It has a lot of different um, prompts to answer, a lot of different activities to do. So looking forward to that. So, <clears throat> Here you can see the beginning pages of the book and I was just taking my time and kind of reading through them a little bit and seeing what they said and they're really just giving a brief history of where hand lettering came from um, and a little bit of not so much on calligraphy but more typography and it was really interesting to see how the invention of the printing press really changed um, the way that we actually write. So here they have a couple of projects. Um, the first one is to kind of make like your own cave drawings. Like if you were a caveman, what would you put on a cave? And I'm a very bad artist. I'm mostly just doing this to get used to the new pen. Um, and yeah, I am really not good at drawing. And then it, it asked you to also kind of look up and draw some of the, the things that you did that day um, as kind of like, um, what's it called? Hieroglyphics, that's what it is. I'm just going through and I'm looking at some of the projects and I started um, practicing doing letters and letterheads in a different style and here I'm really just throwing out a bunch of random ideas. I'm not really focused on, you know, exactly how it's going to turn out. I'm just more focused on like kind of like shapes and this is kind of supposed to be that big letter that you, or the big word that you always see at the beginning of the fancy old books. 
I always reminds me of that Spongebob episode where he's writing his essay. So here I am playing with the fonts even more. I'm doing fonts with lines in them and I'm doing different sizes. Um, I wanted you to play with kind of the sizes of your letters just to get comfortable with it. Then after I was doing that, I started playing with the spacing of my letters. So just in a couple different handwritings, I was doing medium and squished together spaces. So here's my work. Yes, I know, I spelled attitudes wrong. Right. 